This is an episode, a whole new episode on Bruja Coffee Hour podcast. My name is Danny, your host, and we have Tammy. Hi. Our, one of our Leo queens on the show. Leo season. Woo. Yes, queen. So, I came up with a new segment. So, Tammy is going to do an episode with us for Bruja, but I wanted to do an episode of different drinks Ooh, that I'm I excited. have made for her. I was watching uh, Danny prepare these and they all look delicious. So I'm really, really excited. Yes. So she's going to try four different coffees and they are inspired of Latin. Well, I would say like maybe like Latino. Like, yeah, definitely like Hispanic, Hispanic, Latin um, taste. Yeah. Cause what, yeah. Because what, what do we have? We have the mazapan, we have the tres leches. Café de olla. Café de olla. And then Dovalin. Mm, so it's awesome. So All good. right. So we're going to, I know if folks are listening on the podcast, we're going to try to describe it as much as possible. If not, you're welcome to go on our YouTube channel to check this out. Absolutely. All right. Let's check this out. Okay. So we're going to try the first one, which is the Tres Leches. Okay. So the way Danny was making this one, what did you put in this one again? So what I did, I put vanilla and then brown sugar and cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is delicious. And um what's it what else did I put? I put um lechera. Mhm. Lechera. This tastes Oh my gosh. It tastes like tres leches except the texture. It does. You know what? It's funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can drink this whole cup. I'm I'm going to be super caffeinated after this, but this is oh my gosh. I I can't stop. <laughs> All right. Well, because like tres leches, I'm not a big fan of tres leches. No? No, because I don't like the texture. They're very soft. Yeah. Okay. My friend, Jocelyn, um, <laughs> she um, she made me tres leches, but she made it like, like, um, how do I, like, uh, how would I describe it? Have you ever had sponge cake? Yes. Like that texture. Oh, okay. Thank but you. it wasn't like. A the, little bit more firm. Yeah. Okay. And not soggy. Yeah. It was like delicious. <laughs> and then like the frosting was like whipped cream. Oh. So it was even better. That sounds really good. All right, this you're gonna try my second one, which is the mazapan. Mazapan. Okay, so when Danny was making this one, I saw her crush up the mazapan, which I kind of see little flakes of it on the bottom. But I love a yeah. mazapan, so it's. If y'all like texture, I recommend this one. Oh, that one's my favorite. This is so good. Yeah, it is good because you get pieces of the mazapan mm -hmm. in the drink. Mm -hmm. And it's giving me like boba vibes, but like a Hispanic like. <laughs> The Latino yes. version. Um, boba. You just put a mazapan on the bottom and it gives you the same type of. Yeah. Mm. For um, peanut allergies, I do not recommend oh, this. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Do mazapan. not drink this. Mazapan is peanuts, so. Yeah. It's peanut and mm. you will die <laughs> if you have a peanut <laughs> allergy. <laughs> no, because what um, for my non-Latino folks, um, mazapan is basically a candy made up. It's made out of peanut and almond, right? Mm -hmm. and it's powdered and crushed. It's really good. Mm -hmm. really good um it's hard to unwrap it because it breaks oh yeah if you you cannot open a muscle button without breaking it mm -hmm. and if you can i would like to see a video please because For sure i feel like that is a, a gift a skill <laughs> that think of like the squid game yeah yeah when they're like trying to cut the cookie but a muscle a muscle button that yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so the that one was delicious yeah. it definitely um has like the muscle button on the bottom so when you Take a sip. You definitely get the mazapan in with every drink. Mm -hmm. It's very creamy. Mm. And then I added on um, foam. Yes, which is the cheddar mm. foam. Right. So um, the way how I made mazapan, um, there's different ways of making it. I like it shaken. I made it as a cold brew last season, but I think this one's my favorite. This, or one, this is my best yet. Um, for the because you switched up the recipe. Yeah, right? I switched yeah. it up. So um, in the first season i added like so much crap to it <laughs> like it was like the mazapan vanilla lechera it was just such a long step and i feel like people will get so overwhelmed with yeah. that so i prefer i made this one a shaken espresso so what it is it would be um two mazapanes two uh i would say maybe like 
what, maybe like a half a teaspoon of lechera and then maybe two half a two teaspoons of um, hazelnut. You shake that up. And obviously with two shots or um, I don't know how many ounces, I have to figure out the ounces because I have this little like shot cup that I do all my measuring at and I forgot it. <laughs> and I made it with blonde espresso. I don't know, I'm obsessed with blonde espresso, so don't judge me. If y'all love dark espresso or medium roast, that's on you. That's great. But the blonde espresso is pairs really nicely with yeah. it. It's, it's because it's, just, it's such a lighter flavor. Mm -hmm. It doesn't ruin the drink. Yeah. And that's my favorite. And that's my favorite part. And also, um, yeah, it's really good. And then if you do the foam, I recommend putting like just a little bit of lechetta in your foam. And then maybe for optional uses, use le um, the dulce de leche. Oh. And that's what, yeah. oh, I swear it makes it pop in. <laughs> I swear. Okay. And then this is our third drink, which is called, which is the Café de Olla Café Cobra. De Olla. Okay. Ooh, I just love looking at the marble coloring when you like mix the coffee and like yeah. the. Ooh, is it too sweet? No, this is good. Really? This is really good. I was scared that it was too sweet. Ooh, if you like cafe de olla, which I really do, this is really good. Yeah. It. And I did a <sighs> splash of oat milk. This is super good. A splash of oat milk. I'm an oat milk girly. <laughs> oat milk is my jam. No, mm -hmm. but, um, what's up? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Technical difficulties. My daughter wanted to wear my glasses. <laughs> All right. And then, that um, so good. So this one was really creative for me. So, um, I used the bag, a coffee bean bag. It's from Starbucks. It's called the green apron bag or apron bag. So, um, what it is, it's a blonde rose with a little bit of honey dough. Ooh. And I think orange zest. Ooh. So I think that would complement it more with the cafe de olla because traditionally cafe de olla is cinnamon, um, orange zest. Yeah. From what folks up or orange peel from what I've seen. I haven't I never made it with, with the orange peel, but I wanted to try it with this brand because it did. Yeah, you could definitely taste like a little zestiness by this. Mm-hmm. Really good. And then also like um, what I did was I used this cold brew infuser. You can order it on Amazon. I actually got mine at Starbucks because uh, I got a discount. <laughs> and um, and what it is, it's like the cold brew infused. So what I did, I would grind the beans, grind it in a coarse grinder and setting. And I crushed my cinnamon, my anise. Yeah. Yeah, the clove. Oh, you got a special oh, girl. Oh my gosh. I did it extra special. And then... I originally made the cafe de olla syrup on the side, so I just oh. added it because I it's normally added with peel and seal. Okay. So I didn't want to add the brown sugar because I feel like it's not the same. Yeah. But I did add it to it, and I don't know. I think it just like it's magically perfect. <laughs> it I love is. It. This is a really good I love drink. It. I got more in the back. To take <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be like, I know. I'm she's gonna like take in her little home. cup in her, uh, her job. <laughs> she's like, Danny's coffee. No, I'm gonna, have, yeah, you have to get stickers, Danny's coffee or something. I know, for <laughs> sure. Bruja coffee. Bruja coffee. You gotta get stickers, you gotta get, yeah. <gasps> you see, I got my marketing help in right here. <laughs> All right, and then this one is our Duvalin. Duvalin, which everybody loves a Duvalin. Mm. If you don't like them. Oh my gosh. Sorry if you hear my daughter in the background, she's this bored. She's good. Oh my gosh, you could taste a little bit of the strawberry because mm -hmm. of the duvaline that you put in here. Mm -hmm. And white mocha. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So if folks that are non-Spanish speakers or have never had like a duvaline. Mix, a duvaline. So a duvaline, how would you describe a duvaline? It's like a Neapolitan um, like soup. Uh, what, what, the, what's the name of the egg? Those, ch those white, those like a eggs. Kinder Egg. Yes, it's but, like a Kinder Egg, but, but it's a Neapolitan with chocolate, vanilla, yeah. and strawberry. Yeah, um, and they come in like a little cup, and you a little like spatula. Yeah, or you just rip it off and lick it all out. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Yeah, yeah. You just toss the spatula away most of the time. Yeah, you just like lick the whole thing. And <laughs> like all yeah. So I did that one. So, so, so what did you put in this one? This one has the dubbling, the white mocha. Mm -hmm. And then the cold brew? Yeah. Mm. No, not the cold brew. I uh, did it with the espresso. Oh, the espresso, yeah. So sorry. all of these drinks are made, made with blonde rose. 
So I feel like Juan Rose for especially for Latino like coffee, I feel like it just enhances it more because like my bro like my dad, like he's Salvadorian, so he brought me like Juan Rose from El Salvador. Oh nice. Oh my god. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I have never had the best like beans I've ever had. Like I've had Mexican like beans, but I haven't like ventured out a lot in Mexico. Like I wish I could. But um the last time I went I went in March and we had cafe de olla. I don't know what they had in the cafe de olla. I didn't need cream. No, it was just, no, just black. No. Oh. Just black. Yeah. And like we were drinking it like I right love, by a Yeah, I love when the coffee like is like that where you, it, if you could drink a black coffee that mm -hmm. tastes like good, then mm -hmm. it's perfect. And it's healthy. Yeah. Well, it's semi healthy. <laughs> <laughs> semi healthy. Like my fiance, that was like his favorite. Like he loved it. He loved it. And where in Mexico was this? This was in Colima. So this was in a restaurant called, uh, called um, Hakal. Mm, okay. So it's like right from the um, the restaurant is on like on a hill. Oh, beautiful! And you can see the volcano <gasps> that oh, wow. active in Colima. Wow! So it was it's a an nice active thing. volcano like, too. It's an act well, I don't. From what I've heard, it's not lava come or magma lava comes out. I know it's smoky active, oh, but okay. I don't think it, it will erupt. It erupt. Not like the one in, in Mexico City, the one that's no. like like on the news everywhere yeah. and everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah? If you live next to the volcano, let me let me talk to you because I I, I would just want to know. Is, Is that, it scary? <laughs> you, you haven't seen the doc huh? of um, Wahili or what? or something no on netflix no oh, i'm gonna send you that dog <laughs> <laughs> because of christina would she be on the show soon i hope <laughs> she said she told me about it and i watched it and it was basic it was scary yeah it was yeah scary. That, i would think that it's scary like because it wasn't lava it was just the smoke uh, so i was like i would be sad because you can't breathe in that smoke either right mm -mm. yeah that's Mm -hmm. Not good to breathe. Think of <laughs> think of like Pompeii when they're all like such. Oh like, my gosh! Yeah, and then yeah. I would just and then where was it too? Where there was a big volcano up in, in Venezuela or something like that? Not too long ago too. I think so. Oh my gosh! See, it does not scare me. Like That's scary. And then tornadoes scare me too because yeah, I would I feel like well, natural like, disasters scare me. <laughs> well, you live in California. I know. Right? I, I don't, <laughs> we have earthquakes and yeah. those those. The idea of a big earthquake scares me too. Well, from what I learned in elementary, <laughs> that if we have that big one, that in our area, which I'm not gonna say because I like to keep my life private. <laughs> but we, yeah, where we live, we are by, by the, the by the fault. the fault, yeah, yeah, the so, fault line. So, so um, it would most likely be a beach here. Yeah, from what I was told. Hopefully, we get beachfront prop beachfront property then. Yeah, that'd be nice. And we don't spend a whole bunch of money. <laughs> I know California. Wall. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, are you gonna help me drink some of these? Of course. But oh first of all, tell me which one was your favorite. <sighs> Let me taste test them again. Okay. But while you're taste testing it, um, for the Duvalin, I didn't explain it. The Duvalin, what it is, is that it has condensed milk. And what normal people don't know is that white mocha has condensed milk so if y'all be getting your white mocha at starbucks or like anything that has a thick consistency it has condensed milk like everyone's favorite pumpkin spice pumpkin sauce that has condensed milk oh really mm-hmm that's why are you a so pumpkin thick. spice girly you know what i wasn't until a friend of ours marquitos mm -hmm. introduced me to the chai and the pumpkin foam Ooh. And I was like, fuck, so. I became a pumpkin spice bitch. <laughs> it's, a, it's a basic bitch thing, but it's, it's a good thing. I'm, like, I'm, I'm a pumpkin spice girl. I was like, I converted. I converted. One of my favorite too is the cold the cold brew with the pumpkin spice. Ooh, add chai to it. Add chai? Yeah. Ooh, I love chai I had I had um, Christina try that for the first episode of last season. And she was like, oh my God. <laughs> add chai. Okay, so... I love cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I am, I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite things. I so, have the tres leches. It's funny because the say, cafe de olla has cinnamon that's, too. That's why I pulled out both of these because I was like, <laughs> oh, these are two of my favorites. I think the mazapan one's really good too. And I love getting that little snack <laughs> when you drink the coffee. But I am going to say the tres leches one is my tres favorite. Tres leches. Yeah. All right, we have a winner. <laughs> 
Yes, bitches. Ooh, and that's not all the drinks I have. I know she has a. I have a whole menu. A whole menu. Yeah. And it was very hard because she was like, "What drink do you want to try?" And I was like, "Oh, I gotta choose one drink." But yeah. then I came, and she's like, "We got four drinks for you today." And I was like, <laughs> "Yes, like, yes." Actually, this was inspired by another Leo queen that coming May another day, um, which is Greece. And she was like, "I don't know what to do." <laughs> Because she was like, think about getting the awas. Because I do have awas in my recipes, but I don't know what she's gonna do. I think she's gonna do all of her. This was a nice, this was a nice coffee flight. I know. Um, I seen a coffee house have a flight. Oh, there's a, a trio. No, okay, trio so, coffee. Yeah, coffee where I saw that coffee flights are a new thing and yeah. they're popping. They're. Don't worry. Next time it'll be better. <laughs> no, this is good. <laughs> But yeah, this one, this one is my winner. The tres leches. Nice. I'm glad. I'm I glad. think it just tastes, yeah, cinnamony, refreshing almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. Um, this is mine. And I'm you didn't have the abuelita. The abuelita one has cinnamon too. Oh really? Mm hmm. Okay. Next one. Yeah, we next can do that next We're time. gonna do that one. Yeah. And then I just don't have coffee. I do have teas, and then. Aguas, if you don't know what an agua is, it's basically like fruit water, yeah. <laughs> blended fruit what water. What did they say on TikTok? Um, oh, what's it called? Um, oh, I know, because it's like the, Mex me the Mexican street corn salad, and or the cowboy style salad, and then the agua fresca. Spa water. Spa water. Do you have any spa water? I have spa water ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> So next time we'll probably have a spa water. Spa water. I'm gonna call them that now. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Bruja's spa, spa water. water, but with the e, it's a spa. <laughs> like a spooky a spa. spa. <laughs> Yo quiero una spa water. A spa water. Okay, maybe next time because I have a spa water of cucumber, watermelon. I think that's it. Because <laughs> I have a lot of matchas. I have green teas. I have an iced mm. peach. Green I love tea. a. I love a good matcha too. Mm -hmm. Good matcha is mm -hmm. the way to go. And I made a blueberry and lavender. Ooh, one. that mm. sounds delicious. Next time. Yeah. Next time. We'll have a whole like another flight ready. Oh my gosh, we have to do a flight of that one. Yeah. And then we can watch and we can do it to other people who are like, try this. Imagine <laughs> us going to random streets and like, try this. Try, try, try. Like, What's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> this crazy lady trying to give you awas. <laughs> they'll probably call it because I'm like, it's not awas, it's called spa, spa water. water. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spa water. It's the spa water. Why is it green? It's healthy for you. It, it, it got fiber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my gosh. All right. So do you have a scary story for me today? I will, but this episode is only for the, the flights. Oh. This is what it feels like. Okay. It's only Fine. for the place. No, it's okay. She's just excited, I folks. I am. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mini episode of us, tr well, her trying our flights. And yeah, look at Danny's menu. She's got a lot of great drinks. All these drinks are delicious. Mine just, the winner for mine today just so happened to be the Tres Leches. Mm -hmm. But try them yourself. Make them at home. They are delicious. And see which one you like for yourself. Yeah. All right. Well, Thank you for brewing with us, especially you, Tammy. Oh no, thank you for brewing for me. <laughs> she's gonna be like this. I know, time. all day. I'm the next episode. She's gonna be like her. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to follow us on our social media and then rate, subscribe, comment your favorite coffees or drinks on anywhere social media, like anywhere, dude. Like, you can even send me an email, be like, hey, can you make this? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> Go on, just follow me on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you folks have a good day. Bye. Thanks for Bye. joining. Bye.